Hi everyone. Pray you're having a really good day today so far. What is it, Saturday the 3rd, I think? Of April. So the new year has just began. You know, April 1st, the beginning of the new year. And uh, so happy new year to everybody. This is something that probably a lot of my subscribers already know. And this is for if somebody doesn't know this stuff. Now, about, what is it, four or five years ago, the Lord woke me up to how satanic and evil all of these pagan traditions are. Like Easter and Christmas and, you know, all of the... All of the pagan so-called holidays, holy days, right? And uh, so I quit doing all of them just because after I knew what was going on and what they actually represent, it was like, I don't even, I don't want to participate in this anymore. I don't want God to look at me and think I'm celebrating Easter when so here's a little few things about Easter or Ishtar it uh, has nothing to do with Jesus's burial his death burial and resurrection it's not at the right time of the year I mean the springtime is but the days are all off and you know it's just in Easter or Ishtar actually originates from uh, what's her name Samarius which was Baal's wife she is basically the one who you're worshiping it's Satan's wife really it's the it's her day you know Easter the so what she did, check this, she said, you know, well back after uh, Baal got chopped up into a bunch of pieces and spread around about to warn people about all of the pagan stuff, she came up with the, what she said, what happened with her. She said after her husband Baal died, or Baal, that, uh, she got pregnant by the rays of the sun well also she said how she even came she, she she was born by the moon the moon sent her down here in a big egg that landed in the euphrates river so so what they did to honor the spring you know the the goddess of fertility you know sex and what they did was is they'd take the virgins and put them on the altar and they would get them pregnant so then throughout the next whole year when easter time rolled around again or ishtar the queen of heaven supposedly is what she likes to call herself nothing but old battle axe hag anyways but beside the point that uh, they would take these babies that these girls would have had, you know, they'd be about three months old or so, and they would sacrifice them on the altar to the fertility goddess. And then they would take the blood that was from them babies and they would color their eggs in them. So that's where the coloring of the Easter eggs, the Ishtar eggs, that originated by sacrificed babies' blood. <clears throat> so, well, that's real nice to find out. Boy, I really want to take part in that. And so, and then you'll have your, you see, Samarius, she had a son named Tasmuth. And he was supposed to be this great hunter, you know, that's what, this great hunter and out hunting and he got killed by a wild boar one day 
And so on Easter, you get your Easter ham and you, you know, you take revenge on the animal that killed Ishtar's or Samarius' son. So get your Easter ham so you can celebrate in, on that, one, that day when that happened. So it's all, it's all connected together, you know, and it's all paganism. And all paganism, they worship these false gods, and it's just idol worship. The Bible never tells us to celebrate our birthdays or celebrate Jesus' birthday, you know. And it's funny how all this stuff happens right on the equinoxes. You know, the, the winter solstice is Christmas when all the other sun gods were born on December 25th. And then you have your spring solstice or your spring equinox here that uh, right at Easter. Why is that? Why is it all? Because I'll tell you why. Because back in Rome, in like around the year 300, uh, they took and they mixed because before that, nobody, nobody, the, the Christians celebrated like the Passover and the feasts, you know, the feast of first fruit and the feast of, you know, number of the things that they did. <clears throat> but the pagans moved their sick, their sick day and mixed it in with when the Christians originally uh, would be celebrating Passover. So, it's all a trick to trick everybody into playing along in the sick, sick world that we live in that's run by Satan. I mean, it's his. The Bible says so. The God of this world is the devil. This world means the ages. So, anyhow, hope that, you know, and just that anybody just take an hour and do some research on stuff, you know, like Easter or Christmas or whatever. And, you know, Halloween, that's a, another, another real dandy. But... I guess I'll let you guys go. I just, if people don't know about that, you know, I hate being tricked into doing stuff that I don't really know, you know, and then you find out later and you're just like, you gotta be kidding me. Why was I doing that? So if anybody else just wanted to know the truth about Easter, there you go. And I will talk to you guys later, okay? Love you guys all in Christ. See you, bye.